Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. So last time, beat the entire game with Eve, never have to play her again. We also unlock two new characters, both Judas for defeating Mom's Heart, and Magdalene for getting seven hearts at once. So first off, we'll start off with Magdalene, <coughs> and show her off a little bit. So Magdalene's, uh, her properties, I guess, versus the other characters are she has one less speed than Isaac and trades that for one extra heart and oh wow we got piercing shots in the first room that's awesome that's one of my favorite tier effects uh, you also may notice she starts out with a spacebar item called the yum heart and the yum heart is uh, it charges every six rooms and when you use it it heals you a full heart <coughs> so let's say uh, it's a useful useful thing especially if you're new and you get hit a lot but uh... we'll probably end up trading that for something else um, yeah really stoked about getting those uh... piercing shots in the first room that's a pretty rare upgrade and one that will help us out a lot as we move forward uh... it's especially good if you combine it with some other tier effects but even just as is fantastic <coughs> So to talk a little bit more about Maggie, um, Maggie is probably, she, she's in the middle for me. She's probably the character I have the most neutral feelings about. She can be really good, or she can suck, and it totally depends on the upgrades you get. Her main advantage for me is that uh, starting out with that extra heart means that she can start doing deals with the devil right away. Uh, you know, even if I do a two heart deal right now, I'm starting out the same as Eve, plus a deal with the devil <coughs> item. <coughs> wow. Excuse me, a little tickle in my throat. Okay, so we're fighting Famine, and surprisingly, I think this is the first Horseman of the Apocalypse we've gotten. Um, you unlock these guys as bosses directly after um, d defeating Mom for the first time. And each of these bosses, you there's one for each floor uh, excepting Shoal, uh, and each one drops an item called a cube of meat, which is unique because if you just have it, it's just this little thing circling you. It's exactly the same as a pretty fly, which is just a fly that blocks bullets for you, uh, which is not a horrible upgrade by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not great either. Awesome, and by defeating him we've unlocked the Book of Revelations. So, man, I wish I had some bombs. There's a... Uh, all kinds of bombable stuff, including this tinted rock here. Anyway, let's head on down. Ah, oh, Isaac's trapped inside a chest. Poor guy. Um, what was I talking about? Cube of meat. Wow, that was sad to get in on that fly. The cube of meat, as you can see, it just kind of hangs out around us. But if we get another one, then it turns into. Uh, an item that shoots along with us, which is useful, and uh, there are a total of five different stages of the cube of meat that you can get, but it's very rare to get all five, but as you get more, it becomes more and more powerful of an offensive item. <coughs> right now it's strictly defensive, unless I like walk it into enemies, which you can do, but kind of dangerous, don't usually do it. Excuse me, I'm going to drink a little bit. <coughs> See what's in the item room now that we have a key. Mr. Magnet. Magneto. Whatever. Ah, uh, piece of shit. Yeah, we could really use some bombs. That's very important right now. <laughs> Not excited about how many bombable items we've missed already. But, we do have piercing shots. Like I said, huge advantage. My favorite items to get, ever. Lock chest, can't do anything with that. We'll definitely go to the mob trap room. <coughs> One cent, come on, man. Man, yeah, like... <coughs> Excuse me. As soon as I started recording, I had something caught in my throat. It's ridiculous. It's winter. Sorry, guys. So, 
relatively easy mob trap room, obviously, around the basement, but really wish I had gotten something better out of that chest. Okay, well, key, you know. Uh, I'm gonna gamble that key on this chest. Good deal. Extra penny. But still, could have could have asked for more. Just one bomb. Please. Please. Please, please, please. Nope. Well then, I guess we'll head into the boss. Hopefully, I'm actually kind of hoping for a speed up in this situation because Maggie's Achilles heel is her speed. Usually, speed ups are not that useful, but Maggie can use one or two. <coughs> Monster is pretty standard at this point. Let's kind of get him to chase us around. We could use a little damage up as well. As always. But at least we are not Eve. Maggie, unlike Eve, starts with normal damage. I think Eve is the only character that starts with nerf damage. Which is probably the reason why she is my least favorite. She wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for that damage then. Alright, we've unlocked Monster's Tooth. It's kind of shitty. Alright. So, another HP up. Rolling in health, god damn it. Didn't mean to skip that. Sorry. But I'm sure we'll see all those eventually. And really, I doubt there are many people watching this who, like, this is their first exposure to the Binding of Isaac. Because if you're watching me and you haven't seen Northern Lion playing Bind Binding of Isaac, like, what the fuck are you doing, man? But you know, I do appreciate it. already lost one of those spirit hearts. I'm ashamed of myself. Excellent. The nickel came right over to me. Let's see what's in here. Yep, definitely pop that open. God, come on. Those chests, it's very rare for those chests not to neither contain keys nor bombs. And we need both of them pretty desperately. So far, 50-50 on this run. We've gotten piercing shots and not a lot else. But piercing shots by themselves are really good indication, especially if we get something else. Like, there's an item that makes your shots come back at you that interacts really well with piercing shots. Uh, homing tears are great with piercing shots. Yeah. We got options. Let's hope we find something good to go with these. Damage up, of course. Always useful. Okay, come on. There we go. What's this chest? Yeah, I can't get to that. No bombs. I don't think I've had a single bomb so far. Which is incredible. Coming into the caves, too. <laughs> I don't think I've been that unlucky for a long time, bombs wise. Hopefully we'll start getting bombs soon, because it's a pretty big nerf not to be able to get any of the items blocked by bombs, nor any of the secret rooms. Okay, this is bad. Yeah. No way out of that. This is one of those rooms where it's like, is your damage greater than X? Nope, then you're getting hit. Which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, the Fool takes us to the spawn room. I'm just going to use that right away to save a bit of time. Because we need to needed to come back here anyway. I can use my one key on the shop. Save that for the item room. These guys are no threat whatsoever. They, there's absolutely no way they could hit me. Even if I tried as hard as I could. Oh, forgot that that key will come to me. If I had some bombs I might consider opening that chest, but... 
you know. Piercing shots are a huge boon on killing these guys. Because it's, uh, it's all of them at once, obviously. Or not all of them, but everyone in a row, and they tend to stack up while they're chasing you. Like so. I wish that I could give you money, but I have no bombs to get to you. How did you get in that situation? <laughs> Looks like you've made some mistakes in your life. If you're in the middle of a pit that you can only access with bombs. Come on. Go. Let's see what item we have. Anarchist cookbook. I would rather not. Oh, well, it's bombs. So, okay, how should I use this? It's way too dangerous to use it in that room. As I probably would not access the hobo anyway. Let's use it here. Good, good. That's what Anarchist Cookbook does. That's why I'm always iffy about using it. Telepills. Takes me straight to the boss. I'm gonna... Now let's hold on to the Anarchist Cookbook. Because I'm not going to get any fucking bombs. And that can be a huge detriment. And it's not like I was using the Umhard anyway. I probably would not have needed that for several floors. And hopefully we'll run into a better spacebar item at some point. So I'm not too worried about abandoning that. Uh, uh. Piercing shots are both awesome and kind of scary on Fistula and similar enemies because it's difficult to avoid filling the screen with enemies during the first part. But it also obviously does a lot more damage because you're hitting a bunch of things at once. And we made it out with no damage. Another HP up. Uh, no real reason to stick around on this floor, so we'll head on down. No toilet paper. And they're laughing at him about it. With dicks. Okay, so yeah, as, as we go further and further on, I'm getting less excited about this run, because uh, we haven't really gotten any offensive upgrades whatsoever beyond the piercing shots that we got in the first room. And while piercing shots are great, they're not game winning in and of themselves. But we'll see. We're still doing okay, obviously. When we get down to the depths, we might start feeling our lack of damage. Let's see what we got here. Huh. What an interesting item to pick up. The razor blade uh, allows us to hurt ourselves. It does, deals, I believe, one full heart of damage. I haven't used this item much. But in this situation, I think it's warranted. You deal damage to yourself in order to drastically improve your uh, damage output, like so. Yeah, so it is a full heart. But as you can see, we're just tearing it up now. I used it in this room because it's a long room. We're going to be fighting a lot. And it has a pretty good chance of giving its return back. I, I guess I probably wouldn't have gotten hit twice in here, but at the same time... I probably will pick up enough health to make it as if I hadn't done it. So, might as well save a bit of time. So yeah, Razor Blade uh, will be a good item to have on bosses, I think. Now, in this situation, we have a lot of health, and we're not too worried about getting hit a lot. but we don't have very much damage. So I'm concentrating so hard on taking on these turrets. There we go. I would love to, but I still haven't seen a single goddamn bomb. Ridiculous. I can't believe it. Let's use this blood bank down to three hearts. Hope for an HP up. And also I needed the money. So we'll take this money to the shop. And after the shop, 
we'll certainly come back to the arcade if we have money left over and gamble away trying to get some bombs out of there. And also, I guess hoping to get that dollar bill, because we still have not unlocked Kane. And that's unusual to unlock Judas before Kane, but I guess this is an unusual run, because most people don't start the game already knowing what they're doing. I, I, I'm in awe that I haven't gotten a single bomb yet. This is a weird run. You never see this. Temperance spawns another blood bank, just in case the one in the arcade was not enough. We'll probably maybe carry that down to the next floor, just in case. There's a lot of HP laying around. It's always nice to have the option to trade in hearts that you don't need for money that you do. And, of course, the option of getting a blood bag is fantastic. Oh, come on. This room layout is a pain in the ass. You never know which one's gonna pop up. Come on. Now it's... well this side's quite a bit easier, but now we have to do the same exact thing over here. Just time consuming. And dangerous. Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Come on. <laughs> They're trolling me. Come on. There we go. And another key. Fantastic. Just what we needed. So this is my prediction for what's going to happen. Pretty soon we're going to get a bombs or keys pill. I'm going to be excited about it. And then we're going to start getting a lot of bombs and get no keys. Because that just seems like the kind of run that we're on right now. The game is just... doesn't want to give me a fighting chance here. It's still mad about me beating the entire game with Eve last time. Which was crazy luck. Only my second run with Eve. And we're already completely done with her. Your heart. I was kind of hoping for a bomb, but whatever. Come on, man. Drop a bomb in the middle of this room. You know you want to. Nope, nickel. That's pretty good, too. Okay, what do we got going on in here? Greed! Excellent. Just who I wanted to see. Let's see, a cube of meat proved its worth there. Just took out those bullets for me. Oh, Secret Service agent. God, man. Relentless. And, of course, with Maggie's low speed, dodging this is pretty much impossible. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm too slow to get out of the way of Greed's bullets here. Uh, okay, come on. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Ah! It was a horrible Greed fight. Yeah. And here's, so I guess this is one of those runs where Maggie is not so, two keys? Come on! <laughs> Maggie's not so great because I haven't gotten any speed ups. And the reason why Maggie is not a horrible character is strictly because speed ups are pretty common. So, to be, but if you're on one of those odd runs where you don't get any, uh, it starts becoming a problem because Maggie uh, is really not effective at dodging at her native speed. And that greed run was our first indication of that. Okay, so we're gonna gamble some more. I'll probably again be editing that, or not editing, but uh, you know, adding the annotation with a link to the end of the gambling section. So if you choose to take that, I will see you at the end, but you're gonna miss a lot of me cussing at the random number generator, so keep that in mind. Okay, come on guys, just a single bomb would be great. 
get some hearts. Yeah, good. Hearts are good as well. If we get some more hearts, we can start pumping them into the blood bank, but I'd like to keep at least three on hand, especially given my lack of ability to dodge that we've established. Excellent. Again, it would be great to get a blood bag. I believe the blood bag... Oh my god. There was no getting away from that fly. It spawned on top of me. Um, if you do... Oh, it happened again. I got stuck in the animation of getting that bomb, finally. And I was unable to move for a second. So it's not like I'm an idiot just standing here taking flies. It's that I get trapped from the slot machine's animation. Which is a pretty annoying thing to have happen, especially when I'm trying to get enough hearts to use the blood bank. So being a little more cautious now. But th three bombs, already a huge pickup out of here. Two keys, not so much. But again, I've, I've spent like 20 cents, so... Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Six bombs. That's... what more could I ask for? Come on! Dollar bill, no... Well, let's use a couple more hearts in here, then we'll gamble the money, I think purely on the slot machine, because we have so little, and I'd really like to get the dollar bill. Excellent. Okay, so now we have another heart, we'll use one more, and then two more cents in here. Hey! We unlocked the cane. Excellent. And now, we can play the shit out of this guy for health. And bombs. <coughs> because money's no object anymore. I have infinite money. Essentially. Now, the Caves Part 2 with 99 cents, I'd be hard pressed to spend all of it, even if I just spent money on everything I possibly could. So, feel no remorse over spending another 20 cents or so on this guy. I'm trying to pick up some health so that I can pick up a blood bag out of the blood bank. Which would be huge. Of course, a poop helmet wouldn't go amiss either. Come on, man. If you anybody else, like, I'm getting way less than a third of the wins. Jesus Christ. How many wins? How many losses in a row is that? Like six? Seven? Come on. Oh boy, more money. Just what I need. More keys. Excellent. <coughs> yeah. Great. Eleven keys. There's no way I'll ever spend all of those. There aren't enough doors in the game. More hearts. No, come on. I need those hearts. At least we're walking out of here with a lot of bombs. Bombs are a luxury that I missed. And I didn't have any for several floors in a row. Take a drink here. I didn't want to choose a skull just in case a fly came out and hit me again, because I think one and a half damage to flies in an arcade room is plenty. Or two glitches that caused me to sit on flies, maybe more accurately. Come on. I can't believe I haven't won any health yet. You dick. Fucking dick. Come on. Come on. A key I don't want. A key. You're not cooperating with me at all. You're just asking me to blow you up. Let me go to the left one. Hey! There we go. I found the secret. Wow. Yeah. Fifteen keys. I'm set for life. I open a key store. Come on. Just give me some health, man. It's ridiculous. I can really use that blood bag. Because again, I think it boosts your speed. Which would be just an enormous pickup right now. Really hoping. Oh well, we got the fly helmet. Let's blow up this blood bank. 
get some health out of it, and by some I mean all of the health. <laughs> that was the most health I've ever seen out of a blown up blood bank. That was incredible. So then we'll just pump it right into here. There we go. <clears throat> and yeah, I do feel a little faster. Okay, excellent. Hey, unlock the lucky foot. That's uh, Kane's special item. And we will we'll use a bomb. Because we can. Get in here. Grab that. Pill. Range down. Excellent. Really glad I got the opportunity to pick that up. What's, it looks like there's something in the mom trap room. Is there a bomb in there? That's what it looks like. Oh, <laughs> it's an unexploded bomb. I was scared for a second. I thought I was a complete moron. Alright, three cents. Not that I'm not a complete moron, but at least not for that reason. Three cents out of the secret room is a pretty shitty deal. In fact, the shittiest deal possible. Except in some situations, a slot machine can be worse. But probably in most situations, a slot machine is worse. Yeah, three cents, pretty bad. That's my main point here. Let's head on to the boss. Gertie. Not too bad. My damage isn't fantastic, so we'll be here a while. Oh, this is this is the Gertie that doesn't shoot. This Gertie only. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, my fly love means that flies are no threat to me. None of them will hurt me. So I can just kind of sit here and ignore them. They'll just come over and kill themselves, basically. Yep. So that's what the poop helmet does, which is enormously useful on Gertie. This is maybe the most useful I've ever seen it. So, yeah, this Gertie has no opportunity to harm us whatsoever, it looks like. Um, because champion Gerties only spawn enemies. They do not... Um, they do not shoot. So I'm just sitting here with the right button held down, basically. Just hell hanging out, chilling, having a good time. How are you guys doing? I'm going to take a drink while I hold down the right trigger here. Easiest dirty fight I've ever had. <laughs> Hilarious. If I get hit on this last thing. Okay, good. Satan. Excellent. Okay, tears up. Good pickup. Improves our damage. Uh, or our... It improves our rate of fire, which in turn improves our damage. We're going to grab both of these. Brother Bobby shoots alongside us. The pact improves all of our stats. We really did not need all of those hearts we had, so... It's good to be able to exchange them for other stuff. Especially the damage from the pact is going to be great, and Brother Bobby can't hurt either. Yeah, this is much better. So we got a tears up from the boss room, and then the pact gave us more tears up, so we're firing at an exceptional rate. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> no. Yeah, just plowing through enemies all of a sudden. But that's what I'm talking about. One deal with the devil where you get some good stuff. You can turn everything around. Uh, I will obviously use this one. This is a uh, deck of tarot cards. I'm trying to decide whether to hold on to the deck of cards or to keep the razor blade. I, th I don't really like the razor blade that much. We're going to stick with the deck of tarot cards. Which obviously every six rooms will give us a new tarot card. The tarot card we got first is uh, one of my least favorites, the Magician. Ooh, Judgment spawns a hobo for us. So, uh, I'm trying to get out of this room without picking up the Magician again. Fuck you, Magician. I'm just going to use you. Um, yeah, Magician's not great. Homing shots for one room. Meh. Um, this Judgment card, on the other hand, is great. Because we can obviously pay him money and get items. And I think I've already showcased in this uh, series that you can use judgment, like the the room in which you use judgment affects what he will drop when you give him enough money. So obviously the best use of a judgment card is to save it, look for a deal with the devil room, use him there, and then you get a free deal with the, well not free, you get a deal for with the devil item for money instead of hearts, which is a fantastic deal, usually. There are some some not so great 
deal with the devil items, but by and large, they're far above average compared to the other places you could use a judgment card. That was close. We do some more range. That range down pill was really not what I needed at that moment. That piercing shots, now that our fire rate is higher, you can see piercing shots are really tearing it up. And also as you get into the depths, they're, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? There are usually more enemies to the room, so there's more opportunity for piercing shots to make a difference. Ah! Oh, I can't believe I got hit on that. That was the first hit I took this floor. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not sure if I've talked about this, but the tower card I got a little while ago is the same as an an <coughs> anarchist cookbook. It just fills the screen with bombs. So obviously we want to hold on to our judgment card. See what we can get out of that. We definitely want to visit the shop on this floor with 15 keys and 92 cents. It's a... Uh, it would be indefensible if I did not take the time to find the shop. <sighs> Slot machine, not really interested now that I have my uh, dollar bill. Gambling is a lot less um, tempting. So there's the shop. Got hit a lot on that room, that sucked. What's this? Palms or keys? Well, it didn't happen quite like I predicted, because now I have plenty of both, and in fact that was a really good pill to get. Battery is always a gr great pickup. Range up, very helpful. So the battery gradually charges our spacebar, which will give us more tarot cards more often. Uh, nothing I can complain about there. Hopefully we'll get a slightly better spacebar item. To deck of tarot cards is not one of my favorites, but, you know. Cool. Another range down pill. It's just what I need. I can nullify that range up I just bought. Let's see what's in here. One cent! Wow. That's totally worth the damage I'll inevitably take in this room. Absolutely. Looks like a pretty easy mob trap room, all things considered, for the depths. Especially, this is one of the major reasons I love piercing shots. Those brain guys, you do not have to shoot them from the back. It's wherever you happen to land your shots. So at this point, we are heading on to the boss. And hopefully, we will find a deal with the devil so that we can use this judgment card. Monstro 2, really easy boss. I'm not sure if we've actually fought him yet in this Let's Play, but the trick to this guy is that if you're to his side, he's inclined to shoot that laser at you. And if you're to, to his side, he's inclined to shoot that laser at you. If you're to his side, he's inclined to shoot that laser. So we can just fuck with him, basically. Um, if I do this properly, he will never get a chance to pull off a legitimate attack and he will die. Which makes him, I think, by far the easiest uh, boss it's possible to get on the depths. High Priestess. Uh, it's a good card. Oh, Wooden Spoon, excellent. So now we're quite fast. I'm gonna use Judgment and take High Priestess with us. High Priestess uh, makes Mom's foot come down, which can wreak havoc on especially boss monsters. Ooh, Compass. Good pickup. Glad I did that. Compass is maybe better than most of the uh, deal with the devil items I could have hoped for since we're coming up on the womb. And if you recall, um, on the womb, the name of the game is get to the boss as quickly as possible. <laughs> that, that room was terrifying. But not anymore. Thanks, piercing shots. Uh, but yeah, the womb, get to the boss as quick as possible. There's no shop, no item room, no reason to explore. And also, everything does double damage, so you just want to get the hell out of there, basically. <laughs> and uh, compass is obviously a huge tool for doing that. Come on, guys. 
be like that. There we go. <laughs> I waited a long time to get that penny. Oh, oh, oh. Lovers. Give us hearts. God. <laughs> I suck at fighting these guys. I don't know what it is. My brain doesn't work this way. Oh, come on. There's a lot of them on the screen. I just kind of... The lovers creates two spirit darts. Not too useful at this point. Spelunker hat, really? Spelunker hat is like a shitty version of the X-ray specs. It uh Oh god. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. I don't think there's a way out of that one. So and I'm sticking to that. There's no way. Oh, there was definitely a way out of that one. I was just being dumb. So we won't see most of the use of the uh, Spelunker hat. That's the only one we'll see. It it shows you... Oh my god, that's excellent. Uh, and the noose allows us to fly. Usually it just turns you into a floating head, but while you're this devil, devil figure, it gives you wings. Um, anyway. Oh. <laughs> that was bad. The... The Splinker Hat shows you whatever's in the adjacent room, so if there was something like a mini-boss... In fact, I think that's the only other thing it reveals. It will reveal mini-bosses, and it will reveal secret rooms. And everything else you would have known anyway. Like the item room and the shop and whatnot. Uh, pretty shitty, especially considering the X-ray goggles um, allow you to walk into the secret room without... Oh, I forgot I could fly. I, pro I probably did that room like a complete idiot. Anyway, oh, I should really use that. Okay, the devil is great. It's like, uh, it's, it's kind of like the curse for a room, but I think it's a little bit weaker than that. Oh, uh, greed again? Two greeds in one run? Both after I had found a dollar bill? That's shitty. That's, that really sucks. Why do you have to be such a dick, man? Wow, lots of money that I will never get a chance to use because this is the last shop. And it's not even a shop. Okay, let's hop into the arcade here. Use a lot of hearts because there are hearts on the ground and I left a lover's card down in the south there. So I'll just, I'll use down to, oh, excellent. I was going to use down to half a heart, but no need. And we'll just piece out of here, because there's not really anything else we need. I prefer the Devil to the High Priestess, so we'll hold on to that. Uh, and we'll head onward here. Yeah, I'm not sure I finished my diatribe on the Spelunker, but the X-ray goggles also allow you to just walk right in and out of secret rooms without using any bombs. And the Spelunker hat for unfathomable re reason this does not allow you to do that, which I think is complete bullshit. Oh, the Emperor is so good. Oh, and we're not going to be able to get back out of the bomb's boss battle. You know what? We're actually going to take the Emperor. The Emperor teleports you directly to the boss room, and on the womb, for obvious reasons, that's huge. <laughs> that's a gigantic advantage. So if we walk into a room floor, a womb floor, and we're like, oh, we have to traverse the entire floor, it's like on the opposite corner of the map, fuck that, we'll use the Emperor card and just head straight to where we need to go. So, pretty impressive item to get at this point. It's unfortunate that we can't walk back out of the Mom's Boss battle, because I would absolutely use the Devil on Mom, as I was planning to do already, and then come back for the Emperor card, but I guess we cannot do that. Which I wish they would change that. That's really annoying. You can leave the Mom's Heart boss battle. Up, up, up. Use that. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. Death kills everything in the room. Oh. I saw a tinted rock as I was leaving that room, so we gotta go back there. But again, thank God for piercing shots. So useful on those enemies. Some of my least favorite enemies just turned into complete pushovers. Okay, so this tinted rock gives us Tammy's head. We'll take it. Tammy's head is nice. And I think we've gotten most of the use we can get out of that Emperor card. Absolutely, we'll do a... Oh, and we don't even have to. I'm just going to walk right out. See you later. Um, Because flight allows you to fly over the, bobs, the bars of a mob trap room, effectively skipping the entire room. Wow, Chubb's just getting fucked up. That's great. 
got some serious damage going on. But yeah, I think we've exhausted the use of our... I'm not going to use telefills because there's a chance that it would take us into the mom to boss battle and we lose the Emperor card. And to fight one room, yeah, I'll, I'll do that instead. Alright, piercing shots. Fantastic on this boss battle. We'll shoot right through everything. Can't believe I didn't get hit by that. So we got pretty unlucky lucky with bosses and ended up on fighting mom with still a cube of meat. No uh, no upgrades for it. But we may end up fighting a horseman of the apocalypse on the womb part one. And getting a uh, like a half a meat meat boy upgrade thing. And that would be nice. I'm I'm a fan of the stage two. B-Boy in the stage one is fairly useless, but it, it's, it's taken some hits for me. It's alright. Compared to the other bosses, the other drops we could have gotten from the boss on the, fl the first floor, not one of the more fantastic ones unless you end up getting more cubes of meat. Alright, so we got some more range up. That's fine. And we'll head on down to the womb. And I'm pretty in. Uh, pretty uh, optimistic about completing the womb part 2, beating mom's heart. Not sure if we'll be able to get a, uh, a deal with the devil room on the mom's boss fight, mom's heart boss fight, and head on down to Shoal again like we did with Eve. But it would be nice, because I feel like my loadout is good enough that I could take on Satan. And you can s oh, I should have saved that. Um, but you can see Compass, huge advantage here. We only had to fight a few rooms because I knew exactly where the boss was. And we can save our Emperor card for the next floor. Right. Oh, terrible, terrible, idiotic damage. Uh, die. Oh, I can't believe I got hit by that. I was trying to move, but I suppose it didn't happen quickly enough. Alright, and we'll fight the boss. Last assist. Oh, good. We've revealed the secret room. I don't think you can bomb your way in there from the, uh, from the boss room, so we'll probably end up abandoning it. I don't, I'm not really excited about trying to loop around. Oh, man. I'm getting hit so much. This is really sad. There's no reason for this. Another HP up, that's great. And we'll go on down to the next floor and immediately use the Emperor card. Unless the <laughs> boss is absurdly close. Because... You know, the boss is absurdly close. So we'll save it in case we get down to Shoal. Because it would be a huge boon to be able to... Um, oh, I guess the boss isn't that close. Let's walk this guy on the spikes. He obviously duplicates our movements. We've never seen that in video games before. I'll use the Emperor. Looks like a pain in the ass to figure out which way we need to go to get down here. Alright, so... Oh man, I hate these lasers at the beginning. Come on. Yeah, lasers are maybe the most deadly enemy in the womb. They're, oh wow, what happened? <laughs> that bomb just flew away. Oh man, is that my piercing shots doing that? Okay, so we're going to have to not shoot at the spawn. Wow. Champion laser spawn spawned and gave us a chest, which I didn't really see what we got in there. No! No! God damn it. Wow, yeah, our, uh... Something about our shots is really fucking us over here by propelling those bombs away. Gotta be careful not to shoot the bombs. No, nope. I said not to shoot the bombs. Oh, I can't believe that all of that just happened. Oh no, where did I go? I got stuck. Oh my god, I can't believe I died. I just like glitched out behind mom's heart there. And could not move out of the way of a shot. And uh, got hit too much. I'm really disappointed about this run. Really, actually incredibly pissed off that that happened. Thanks for watching, and maybe next time we'll uh, have a legitimate fight with Mom's Heart and not die to bullshit. Bye.